Hello student, my name is Bhagirip Kalau from Elgin Institute of Engineering and Technology. Welcome to the, my online lecture series of Basics of Automotive System. And today I will discuss a new chapter that is a transmission system. Or uh, we can say in the transmission system we will discuss a uh, that is a new topic that is a uh, uh, gearbox. Okay, so these are the main chapters for exam point of view or for uh, any 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 of the exams. Okay. So let me discuss about the transmission system. Uh, let me uh, first understand introduction of transmission system. A transmission system is use a clutch, gearbox, propeller shaft, and differential gear to transmit a power from engine to the rear wheel. Okay. So uh, what happened in that case? The transmission system use a clutch. Okay. In that case, one clutch is there, gearbox is there, propeller shaft, and differential gear to uh, differential gear and it is used and combination combine all this all all this component and it is used to transmit a power from engine to the rear wheel so let me see in the diagram this is the engine these are the engine and these are uh, it is our clutch and uh, it is our transmission system and it is our uh, drive shaft or we can say propeller shaft and it is connected to the uh, trans, uh, to the gearbox and differential mechanism with the help of u joint or we can say universal joint the function of universal joint is nothing but it is used to transmit a power at some angles okay or we can say 10 to 15 degree and it transmit a power to differential mechanism differential mechanism nothing but it is a gearbox system to uh, to multiply the torque of the our uh, powers which comes from the engine okay or which comes from the engine uh, and it transmit to the rear wheel okay so these are the our function of the transmission system in that uh, transmission systems main component is a clutch gearbox propeller shaft and differential gear this these four are the component of in the transmission system but in this chapter we discuss about the gearbox only okay because these are the separate chapter propeller shaft differential gear and clutch is a separate chapter so in our syllabus in transmission system we have a gearbox chapter so basically this gearbox is a uh, divided into the two categories or we can say uh, uh, manual type and uh, we can say automatic type or semi automatic type okay the power may be transmitted to the rear or front or we can say all four wheel depending on the drive used so which type of drive is used in a vehicle that 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 means it depends on the power is transmitted to that rear side of wheel only or front side of wheel only or we can say all four wheels of uh, vehicles okay next is the clutch and gearbox varies the ratio of torque output to the torque input that means the clutch and gearbox the function of clutch or gearbox is to multiply the torque or we can say it varies the torque where whatever we require that means it is the ratio torque ratio torque output divided by torque input okay torque input that means this ratio can vary with the help of this gearbox and clutches okay the function of that gearbox and clutches that means by using of the gearbox we can vary the torque and uh, torque of the engine the propeller shaft <coughs> the propeller shaft transmit the final drive to the rear axle from the gearbox that means the function of propeller shaft written here the propeller shaft is nothing but it is transmit a power to the final torque to the rear axle that means final torque comes from that gearbox and it transmit to the uh, this rear axles with the help of this propeller shaft next is differential gear differential gear the function of differential gear is nothing but it is a equally distribute the final torque final torque which comes from that uh, gearbox which divide the uh, on the wheel or we can say road wheel by the help of this differential gearbox and another function of differential gear is to difference the speed when while you taking a turn that is the main difference uh, function of that gear okay these are the various functions of the various uh, various uh, uh, systems or we can say component like a gearbox propeller shaft differential gear and clutches okay the function of transmission system it disconnect the engine from driving wheel when it required that means the transmission system is used to connect and disconnect 
uh, disconnect the engine to the driving wheel suppose these are the our engine shaft okay this is the our engine shaft and this is our driving wheel okay, where we uh, mounted the differential and rear axles so that means uh, it connection of this two okay it connected and disconnected with the help of this transmission system the function of transmission system is to connect and disconnect this uh, en uh, engine to the rear wheel next if the engine is connected to driving wheel when it required that means whenever it required it connected okay with the help of clutch which we, we, we mount the clutch here okay after the uh, engine shaft <coughs> next is it change the ratio of output to the input whenever it required or our according to our desire it turns the drive through the right angles it turns that means the power is coming from in longitudinal way or it transmit to that real at 90 degree that means it can be it turns the drive through the 90 degree a means of uh, a means to back the car by reversing the direction of rotation of the drive is also provided by the transmission system that means nothing but the uh, the meaning is that whenever you require the vehicle to uh, reverse direction or rot so that it provided by the direction of rotation of drive in a reverse okay so that we, you uh, your vehicle can be uh, more, move in a reverse direction that is the function of the, the transmission system how it takes reverse let me understand the our next slide okay the main question is necessity of the transmission system why it is required of transmission system the variation of resistance to the vehicle motion at various speed that means our our requirement is that uh, uh, the vehicle have a various types of speed not at constant speed that means our requirement is that if the vehicle will move at 60 degree uh, vehicle will move or sorry the vehicle will move 60 km per hour or we can say 10 km per hour or we can say 150 km per hour or we can say 200 km per hour that means our desire is that the vehicle will move have a different different speed uh, according to our requirement that is the, the necessity that's why we use a transmission system or the necessity of the transmission system so with the help of this transmission system we can achieve the various types of speed in our vehicle next is variation of the tractive effort of the vehicle available at various speed that means the tractive effort uh, we we obtain a variation of tractive effort of the vehicle available at various speed so that uh, at different different speed we obtain a different different tractive effort that so, see, just remember the one formula to conceptual the all the things power is nothing but is equals to 2 pi and t by 60 or we can say omega into t that is the power okay so torque this is nothing but torque and torque and uh, this is rpm and this is the power that means our transmission system fully work is a uh, work on power rpm and torque okay so if we increase the torque that means rpm is decreases okay if we decrease the rpm our, in our uh, uh, in our hand that we can reduce or increase the rpm if rpm is increases torque will be reduce okay if torque is directly proportional to the power if torque is increases power is increases so this is the main concept which keep in our mind okay so let me discuss how it is <coughs> there <coughs> uh, it, it it all things happen by the using of the gear train mechanism which we'll study in the previous semesters gear train chapters okay how it torque will be increases and decreases by using of different gear train mechanism we have a, uh, four types of gear train mechanism simply gear train mechanism compound gear train reverted gear train or we can say epicyclic gear train but uh, if we use the simple gear train just only uh, it it just uh, uh, use of this simple gear train is nothing but it uh, gives the direction of that uh, uh, motion of the final gear that is the your desired gear this is the driver and this is our driven gear okay suppose driven gear and this is a driver gear so by using if you use the simple gear train that means the ratio is suppose it gear number one two three four and five then that means n1 by n5 is nothing but t5 by T1 that means in simply gear train it depends on the teeth ratio of final and initial gear that no, does not the meaning of that 2 3 and 4 gear that means not much more importance of that type of gear and and uh, your uh, 
vehicle pickup not more uh, increases okay so uh, just it gives a direction so we use the simply gear uh, compound gear tend to increase or decrease the torque as well as to increase or decrease our mileage or we can say pickup not mileage pickup of the vehicle that means within a uh, 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 seconds or within a some seconds the vehicle will be moved at a high speed that is achieved by the compounding gear train how it is that suppose this is the, our uh, gear that have a rpm and it is attached to, to the engine and engine the rpm is nothing but thousand to seven thousand rpm of the engine but our requirement of the rpm is a zero to we can say uh, 12 uh, 1200 rpm of the our requirement to propel the our vehicle and finally we obtained the uh, 200 to uh, 150 km per hour or we can say 200 km per hour maximum speed of the vehicle suppose this is transmitted to the our another gear okay and over which the over this shaft we have another one more gear and it is connected to here big larger gear which have a more teeth and this have a small uh, smaller teeth or we can say uh, small teeth okay and it is uh, transmitted to again the another gear which is a uh, vision known as our final or driver driven gear so the power is transmitted to this one with the help of this compounding by using of compounding so we will uh, obtain this concept we will obtain a different uh, speeds and torque and uh, etc whatever we required so compounding is a very important and transmission system is used in uh, many more cases like a uh, in our lathe machine and etc okay this the necessity of that transmission system and uh, one more thing the angular speed ratio is a constant in the transmission system no slipping is occurs okay Next is classification of transmission system. Basically, we divided into the three uh, two parts of transmission system. One is the manual transmission system. Okay, one is a manual transmission system and another is a automatic transmission system. Okay, so exam point of view, the manual transmission system is much more important and in automatic, uh, one important topic that is a torque converter and cvt okay cvt is a very very important topics for automatic transmission system continuous variable type uh, timing or transmission system continuous variable transmission system is a very very important topic so let me understand one by one and each uh, mechanism or each gearbox mechanism so in manual transmission system we have a sliding mesh gearbox constant mesh gearbox and uh, synchro mesh gearbox okay three types of manual transmission system but in automatic transmission system overdrive okay in overdrive we call it as a semi automatic drive system and fully automatic in which we have a three types ep cyclic gearbox free wheeling unit and torque converter and another is a CVT continuous variable transmission system these are the classification of transmission system so uh, just you keep in your mind how to increase and decrease the torque and rpm of the vehicle by using of gearbox okay so you first uh, uh, prerequisite chapter is a gear train in previous semester to understand this all the topics okay so gear what is the gear ratio and gear train module always same for two machine gears okay gear ratio is nothing but uh, your requirement speed okay gear ratio is nothing but driver upon driven g is your t driver okay teeth of driver divided by teeth of driven that is the gear ratio of the so whatever you require the gear ratio it depends total transmission system in the gear ratio that is depends on the speed because t is a link with the speed okay <clears throat> so these are the classification of the our uh, transmission system okay just remember in our next video lecture we will discuss about the sliding mesh gearbox and constant mesh gearbox and synchromesh gearbox okay thank you so much